Why haven't you gotten enough sleep this weekend? Well, the problem is I've been building a roller coaster for my friend Janine. And Janine said, like, listen, I appreciate you doing this for me, but I need it for my wedding on Sunday. And so I had to spend all Thursday, all Friday, and half of Saturday uh, working on building a roller coaster. Uh, and the big problem was that, was that, like, I had to take all the steel pieces and I had to, like, move them and bend them with my bare hands. And sometimes that's just hard, you know? It just takes a long time. I understand, but, like, why didn't you just get Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? That would have been a much better idea. That's a very good game. Yeah, dude. Get your life together. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up? That was one of my favorite games as a kid. Mine too. Yeah, like, I would spend fucking hours, like, playing it. When I was really young, my, I would build the roller coasters, and my dad would manage the park for me. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It was fucking awesome, yeah. And then as I got older, I would just fucking play it on my own. And, uh, like, I would spend, like, eight hours a day playing it, like, during the summer. Yeah, I definitely used to play it a lot also. Mm -hmm. It's so addicting. It was. I used to play that in backyard baseball. <gasps> oh, my God, dude. I used to love backyard soccer. Like, those games were so much fun. They were fucking lit. I forgot how lit that game was. Yeah, dude, I used to, there was just, I forget what the kid's name was. I want to say it was like Pedro, but I was like this like really small guy with his hat backwards. Yes, yeah. Oh, Paolo, I think. I think something like that, yeah. Something like that. I know exactly what you're talking about. I can picture it. It's like a big blue cap. Yeah, yeah. He was the smallest one, but he would always hit it like really far. Like he was a, always like one of the better ones to get. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like uh, I used to have the basketball one as well. And uh, I would always choose Kenny Kawaguchi, the, the kid who was in the wheelchair. And yeah. my dad was like, why do you keep choosing him? Like, he's in a wheelchair. He can't do anything. And I'm like, it doesn't matter, Dad. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this game doesn't, like, follow normal physics. Yeah. Fuck your science brain, bro. Yeah. Get that science brain out of here. Have your school gang. We're just trying to have fun. No school game. Hashtag no school gang. Thank you. For life. For life. <laughs> I've never even stepped foot inside a school. <laughs> I was going to say, you know what's the funniest thing about you saying hashtag no school gang? Is that you've literally gone to school your entire life. That I literally have a master's degree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's funny when you say it. And I'm over here like, I dropped out of high school. <laughs> well, that's okay. It's, we're just two sides of the same movement, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you need people on the inside to really spread the message of hashtag no school gang. And so, like, I can go into all my classes, go into, like, my spatial stats class, be <laughs> like, hey, hashtag no school gang. Uh, so fuck your, like, your gib sampler and <laughs> go and use Kenny Kawaguchi and backyard soccer <laughs> exactly exactly oh i'm glad we're on the same page about this welcome everyone back to the strawberry boys wow thank you for welcoming me back for the 54,000th time tyler no problem i can't believe I've done that many episodes i know it's crazy how long has it been oh you know like Thinking back on it, as and my time in the 1960s, you know, as a, as a wee lad of three, when we started the Strawberry Boys, um, I'd have to say it's been about 58 years. Wow. I know. Can you believe it? No, it's been a long time. It kind of sucks that we missed the, what is it, the golden anniversary? Is that what the, the 50th is? You're asking the wrong guy, buddy. You haven't been married for 50 years? Nope. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I've been single for 50 years. Hey, hey, I feel that, bro. Bro, I've been a bachelor for 50 years, boy. We really are fucking man <laughs> children, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, of the group, we are the most man children by far. For real, dude. So I wonder, you know, like, like they do have the measurements for like 25 years of marriage, 50 years of marriage. Do you think they're prepared 
for when people live to be like 150. And so they reach like the the 100 year anniversary of marriage. Like what kind of object is that? What metal does that turn into? Um, platinum. Oh, that's a good choice. Maybe platinum can be like 75 and um, 100 oh. be like diamond. Oh, yeah, that's true. That would be good, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it goes in like the opposite direction and it turns into like like bronze or something. Or just like it just turns into a pile of shit. Oh, dude, it's my pile of shit anniversary. Oh, it's <laughs> so long. I've known you longer than 99.9% of people have been alive. Um, and so it's, I'm just so honored that we get to share our pile of shit anniversary together. <laughs> when you say it like that it sounds so funny <laughs> like i i know you think love is funny but this is real life we're talking about okay sorry yeah i would appreciate it if you don't make fun of my pile of shit anniversary <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry. sorry david sorry shit i didn't mean to i didn't mean to do that <laughs> sorry pile of shit sorry you pile of shit anniversary <laughs> <Is> <laughs> So what have you been up to, my doge? Well, this week I started work. Yeah, it's been super lit. Uh, I'm really feeling this job. Uh, I'm ready to, you know, be settled in Atlanta and not have to worry about, like, apartments and shit. Because now that's, that's become the new thing that I have to worry about. It's like a thing of, I have one ambiguous thing that I can't deal with. And that's, like, getting started with work that starts and now i can start thinking about the ambiguous thing of where am i gonna live in the next two weeks and uh you know i'm just putting out fires and doing it gracefully well that's what you gotta do sometimes exactly sometimes life is just putting out fire after fire correct that's true that's very true but you know what i always look cute i look like <laughs> fish that's always the mat that's what matters the most is that you look cute <laughs> i'll be going out It'll be like 90 degrees outside and I'll be like wearing my fucking vest and like long skinny jeans because that's what looks cute. You know, my all black outfit in the 90 degree Philadelphia sun. Yeah, you love to see it. You love to see it until that completely bites you in the ass. Yeah, and it's hot. Yeah, dude. Like uh, a few days ago, it was really hot outside and I... I had like not had a lot of to drink. Mm -hmm. I was low on like hydration for the day. And for some reason, I decided that it would be a great idea to go bike to fucking two miles away to go get uh, my favorite lunch place. Mm -hmm. And while I'm in line ordering, I start to get like tunnel vision and I literally pass out like in the middle of ordering my food. What? That's crazy, dude. Yeah, it was fucked. Did you die? Yeah, actually, it was very unfortunate. And uh, so they had to get like a person to come in and perform necromancy so that I could come back to life. Oh, that's lit, dude. Yeah, they actually, uh, as part of the ceremony, they had to play Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Oh, you'd love to hear it. Yeah, exactly. Like at first they'd like start by like sprinkling like sage or something around my body and they start like singing the song. And like once it hits the course and it's like, wake me up. It's like I like spring to life and I start singing the song. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that you didn't die. Well, it didn't stay dead. Exactly. Yeah, it was just for a few minutes. But, you know, what can I say? Like you listen to Bring Me to Life, you can't help but uh, sing along, my dude. So when you when you uh, just passed out, did you like seizure? No, I don't think I seizure. I think it was just like a thing of like you faint. I, I, yeah, I like fainted. I just had like so little blood pressure in my head or something like that, that uh, my body was like, nope, fuck this. Nope, he's out for the day. Yeah, like I was only out for like a few seconds, but I remember like laying on the floor and being like, oh, it's so nice to be like just relaxed in bed. And a few <laughs> seconds later, I'm like, wait a second, I'm not in bed. And I like open my eyes and like I'm on the fucking floor of the halal guys. <laughs> that's, that's not funny. No, it's not, but it's, like, also kind of funny that my brain was like, <laughs> you're just vibing. Yeah, I think it's hilarious, but also I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally okay. I haven't had, like, any symptoms since then. Um, you know, I've just been vibing and, and living my best life. I'm just, like, living my best life right now. 
awesome. I feel like we're both living our best lives at the moment. We absolutely are, my friend. Yeah. Like, we both got these new jobs that we like. Shit's going good. We're about to hang out in a few days. I'm so fucking hype about that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something about you passing out, but I forgot what it was. I do care about you passing out. I'm glad you're okay. But. But I also need to milk it for the laughs. Yes. But also, I don't give a shit. I wish you did die. Yeah. Like, now I'm so mad that you're going to make it to your pile of shit anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Because you were brought back to life by the Evanescence Priest. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear. I, um, I have no big updates about my job yet. Um, oh, the other night at the hotel, um, it was like probably 8.30, give or take. And there was this group of, like, probably five, like, middle-aged, I want to say that we're all married, but I don't know. I know at least one was. Um, But they're, like, these middle-aged women. (laughs) And they were coming in, like, they just came off um, Broadway in Nashville, which, if you don't know what Broadway is, it's, like, the main strip of downtown. It's where all the honky-tonks are and the bars, and everyone goes down there. There's, like, brides maids and shit everywhere and it's loud and they're just partying and drinking and doing shit but uh the one girl checked in two rooms and then (laughs) they went straight to our bar and grill and they started drinking getting loud getting wild and then eventually one of them pulled out a speaker like a bluetooth speaker and just started playing music (laughs) (laughs) and they were so fucking loud (laughs) Well, all the guests that were walking by, they were like, Jesus. We also had the, like, corporate people in the hotel this weekend. <gasps> uh-huh. Yeah, so <laughs> they came in while they were in there being all loud and crazy, and they just walked by them and started laughing at them. <laughs> <laughs> As was, one should. Yeah, it was so funny. But me and uh, my manager were getting annoyed because it was so loud. You couldn't hear people talking. Like, if I answered the phone... I had to like plug my other ear and just try to hear people. But they were just wilding. That is fucking obnoxious. It was so obnoxious. And then when they actually were ready to go to bed, they didn't have their keys anymore. They lost their keys. Well, the thing is, the music was so loud that it disintegrated their keys. They did have the keys. They just were lost to weathering. (laughs) Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It's a common phenomenon. Yeah. Among obnoxious white people. (laughs) <laughs> yeah they were all white too so of course they were i didn't even need to like ask i could just knew <laughs> yeah they were like these white middle-aged women they were all like skinny and like they looked like the fucking real housewives of fucking orange county whatever they looked like them except for i know it wasn't them because they were flying on a legion mm-hmm. and that's the you know yeah they were yeah. all like skinny and they all had three eyes and each of them had a purse that looks like a different phase of Morgan Freeman's career. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You don't what you don't have any Morgan Freeman purses? No, sorry. Oh, I guess I guess you're not much of a purse guy. <laughs> I'm not, and also I'm not skinny, so I don't wear purses. Right. You can only have the Morgan Freeman purse if you're skinny. That's right. I would be so mad. But it's like I can also like my family would not do that in a public area, but my, my family would do that in their room and they yeah. would just like fucking have loud music and party until like 4 a.m. Oof, couldn't be me. Yeah, honestly, like I am I, not only am I too introverted for that, but I am also too quiet for that. And uh, like at that time of night, I just want to be in bed. I want to be sleeping. I want to be like falling asleep to some YouTube. Yeah, there's that. But then also like for me, I also think about the people around me. Like, the person next door to you is going to be pissed. I'm sure when they went up to their room, they were like, oh, guys, we need to be quiet. I don't want to disturb anyone up here. Oh, you think that's what happened? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's what you think, David? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I am certain. I don't have a doubt in my mind that that's what happened. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure. They actually took off their shoes and they started tiptoeing through the the hallway so they didn't wake anyone up. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. (laughs) (laughs) I guarantee you they went to the wrong room 
and they fucking knocked on someone else's door. (laughs) (laughs) The person like opens the door and they're like, hey, what are you doing in our place? (laughs) That's exactly what probably happened. That is one really fun thing about your job is that you get to see some crazy people. Yeah, there's already been a bunch of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Which is the only good thing. The only good things about the hours that I have right now is that I get to see a lot of crazy shit because that's when people check in. That's when people are at the bar and grill getting drunk and doing crazy shit. And so that part is exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you've seen this these ladies. You've seen Neo from The Matrix. Have you seen him around anymore? Yeah, he, he didn't. He wasn't there yesterday because it was raining. I guess I don't know. Yeah, he can't go out in the rain. I haven't seen him recently. No. Oh, okay. There was this tweaker I think that was in there. He was like walking around looking for water and ice and shit. Oof. And I think that my manager thought he was actually a guest there, and I'm like, this dude's not a guest. He's like homeless or something. Hmm. But yeah, it was strange. That is kind of sad, though. Yeah, but also... And then he pulls out a Bluetooth speaker and starts blasting it. His water... His, he had, like, a big water cooler, like, um... <clears throat> and that was just a speaker. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, a... It's just a giant speaker. Like, he stole it from, like, a... Like, a sporting event or something, or, like, a concert. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just some, some dude's, like, guitar amp. <laughs> That, that is one thing about my job is that I don't deal with people who are interesting in that respect. Like they're just like normal people who are like all really nice and smart and don't do weird shit. Like play music super loud in a hotel lobby. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. But then there's also something that's pretty cool is last night when I worked, there was this cute guy that walked in. Are you married now? And I'm married. Wow, you're really taking it slow this time, Tyler. <laughs> yep, finally. It's about time. <laughs> That's another perk of your job, is that you get to see all the hot men that come in. Yeah, boy. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, 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 No, we're not bringing up cars again. <laughs> oh, dude, this is a cars podcast now. <laughs> We talk exclusively about cars. We do like analyses of each scene, and yeah. uh, we t- we talk about it from like a like a critical perspective, <laughs> yeah. like in terms of like the power structures that exist in America. See, the most important thing about the first cars is the song, the Rascal Flat song. Yes, <laughs> it's just ninety minutes of that song repeated over and over again while Lightning McQueen drives in different places. Life is a highway. My chorus group once went to King's Dominion in Virginia Mm. for like a chorus trip, and I'm pretty sure they sang it there. (laughs) It's actually a good song. I do like it. It is catchy. It is a catchy song. I used to really like it when I was uh, younger, and my older brother would use it as like a way to try to convince me to listen to more country music. He's like, well, you like Rascal Flats. Why don't you like more stuff like that? And <laughs> at the time, <laughs> at the time, I was too busy listening to like weird rave music from Japan. Listen, David, I'm not going to say you're weird. I'm going to say you're eccentric. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. No I don't know if that's better or worse, <laughs> but I appreciate it. I wear it with pride. You're you and you're a uh, strawberry boy. So. Thank you. Yeah. I'm me. Does that mean you're you? It does. Are we we? <laughs> We're us. We are us. We are them. He, she, me, Wumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you. What's your what's your question? Um are you feeling high like a G6? <laughs> uh yeah if i had to describe my feelings i would say i'm feeling i'm feeling fly like a g6 fly like a g6 that's correct that's what i meant to say anyway um 
What's your favorite marshmallow song? Fly Like a G6. <laughs> he did do a song with them like 20 years ago when they were they're relevant. Back in 1947? Back in 1694. Oh! I don't think I, I've ever heard a marshmallow song. Yeah, are you telling me that you've never heard a marshmallow song? Dude, are all the marshmallow stands going to come after me for that? Yeah, dude, you don't fuck with the marshmallow stands, bro. Get out of here. We don't fuck around with that shit. Don't fuck around with the marshmallow stands. You think K-pop is crazy, bro? K-pop ain't got shit on marshmallow fans. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said, let there be light, and there mm. was. Isn't that lit? That's lit. <laughs> These lights are lit, bro. Dude, the lights are lit. Lights are so lit. And the and the Lord said, let there be light, and it was lit. <laughs> Yo, we getting litty titty up in heaven. Yeah, baby. That was me slapping my tits. I did not hear it. Oh, well, it picked it up in the recording, so go fuck yourself, David. Turn your cool. fucking mic, turn, turn your headphones up, bro. Turn the bass up in that bitch, bro. Turn your heart up. I'm all about that bass, no treble. Wow. Thanks, Megan Trainer. <laughs> Do you think she calls herself that because she's a personal trainer? <laughs> yeah, definitely for sure. One hundred percent. Yes. That's what of I course. know her from, is that she's a personal trainer doing like, Yeah, I used, to, I used to get all her personal trainer videos. Uh-huh. All her gym videos where she did them. Um, she has like these like thirty minute workouts she used to put out. Mm-hmm. Um Training with Trainer. <laughs> training with trainer <laughs> yes exactly i love the one where she's dancing with a bunch of like poodles fucking what did you not you not you didn't see that video no i haven't oh uh, there's a viral video where megan trainer is dancing with a bunch of like live action poodles wait live action poodles like are they real poodles or are they no, like... they're like they're humans in po- poodle outfits that fucking sucks. No, dude, it's lit. It's not creepy at all. If they were real poodles, that would be fucking incredible. But the fact no. that they're CG poodles makes it hot they're not, garbage. They're not CG. Well, yeah, but the, the fact that they're like people. Yeah, they're people poodles. They're people poodles. <laughs> the way you said that, it sounded like you were disgusted by the way that I said that. <laughs> You're like, I'm disgusted at the thought. <laughs> they're they're people poodles. <laughs> they're people poodles. Ugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so stupid. So fucking dumb. <laughs> They're people poodles. <laughs> hey, David. I have, yeah. uh, I have a question to ask you. What's your question? Are they people poodles? Are they? Or is she, you know, a people <laughs> poodle? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I need to take a 30 minute break to drink the Sprite. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I bet you, um, instead of putting water in your noodles, you put Sprite in your noodles. Dude, how did you know? That's my secret. Wait, who puts water in their noodles? You put milk in the noodles. I don't know what the fuck. I, you I, put the I, lime I'm... in the coconut. <laughs> Are you calling me a nut? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Literally, thank you. I put cactus cooler in my top ramen, bro. What are you put? What cactus cooler? What is cactus cooler, bro? You're serious with me right now? Uh, yeah, I've never heard of cactus cooler. It is the best soft drink ever made on earth. At least I think so. Um, it's like an orange drink, like orange soda, but it's a little bit different. It's cactus cooler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the big difference between orange soda and cactus cooler is that one is orange soda and the other is cactus cooler. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's so good, though, for real. Like, I'm not joking. It Mm -hmm. is the best soda. Best soda ever. I think it's only in California. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, California only. Yeah. This is the only place that has desert. It's the only place that has good shit. Yeah. Everywhere else is bad shit. Yeah, sorry everywhere else in the world. Sorry everywhere else in the world. Back home, I would go to, like, the, the Asian island Kroger, and there was this bottle of soda that had, like, a little cap that you had to, like, pop off. And mm-hmm. there was, like, a little ball, like, a little glass marble. ball inside of it. Yeah, a little marble. And that was the fucking best soda. Yeah, they were good. That I've ever I ever had. Yeah. Sorry, didn't interrupt you, but like, yeah, I agree. Those things are cool. Sorry to interrupt you, but I, this is literally the best soda ever. Sorry to interrupt you, but like, um, you're right, and your soda is good, and I like it. I like how you pop the marble and it fizzes. I'm happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish, but the soda with the marble in it is the best soda of all time. <laughs> That's a timely reference. It's a real grassroots soda. And now I'm imagining like uh, Bernie, like a meme of like Bernie Sanders pulling up in a truck and it's saying, um, you can only get by with grassroots, cash roots, or ass roots. (laughs) That's so funny. I don't know why I'm literally dying, but it's very funny. You're literally dead. What were you saying? I'm actually. Oh, I was just going to say, I think it's time that we watch RuPaul. Oh, you ready to watch some RuPaul? Yeah. Well, uh, I think I'm ready for that, too. And I think I'm ready to let you know something. You know something that's, like, really cool about this episode? Yeah, what about it? I have actually been not here at all. This is a (laughs) pre-recording that I did about three days ago. What? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I feel like I'm talking to you, like, for real. Thank you but... for coming to the Strawberry Boys. It was Fuck. great for you to join us. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, gosh darn it. I don't mean to use the Lord's name in vain. David is not available right now. Please leave a number after the beep. <laughs> I just recorded this whole thing. <laughs> Thank you for joining us at the Strawberry Boys. Um, subscribe and shit. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but we have episodes out every Tuesday now. So, Tuesdays are for strawberries that's our that's our thing yeah we're gonna try and do that um david from the past three days ago also agrees with this yes and even who doesn't he can go fuck himself bye bye (laughs) we don't care what he thinks he's from the past (laughs) yeah fuck him i hope he's i hope he's alive and well thanks tyler yep thank you past (laughs) david (laughs) (laughs) bye bye bye